Good morning to you. Morning. You're wide awake. Do you normally wake up this early? Sometimes. Sometimes. Because most of the time when we, we have gigs, we have to wake up early. So, yes. When you're traveling, though. But the yeah. gigs are going to be like late at night, usually. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, you're like a newbie, for lack mm. of a better word, right? Mm. Um, and you are getting into music at a time when it's rapidly changing. Mm. And basically, you're creating something new. You can do whatever you want at this point, mm. right? How are you finding it as an artist? Um, well, because I'm a newbie and yeah. I haven't been in the industry that long, I didn't know what to expect. So I'm just taking it as it is. Uh, when I came and I released my debut single and album, I didn't like. I didn't think that my piano would come so quickly. And yeah. so, so you know, um, when it happened. I was like, where do I go? What do I do? But you're doing very well. Yes, exactly. Exactly. As an artist, you would think I have to jump on. I have to do the things that everyone, everyone is doing. Is doing yeah. And you're like, oh, if I don't do it, then I won't get gigs. Then people will forget who I am. And then people won't see me as a good artist. But really, I realized that people have their lanes in the music industry. And I love being versatile. That's why I've jumped onto things that I've seen and I liked and beats that I like, even in Nama Piano. But I must say that the pressure that I had before is no longer there. And that's why I'm working on my own project. So which brings me to this question. Now, you are a newbie. You are still a youngish artist. Uh, how old are you, by the way? I'm 22. Wow. Very new. Very still wet behind the ear. Yeah. But, you know, when, when I listen to you, it sounds like you've got years of experience and you've got this tone, you know, to your voice. I don't know where it comes from. Like, are you from a musical family? Or um, you're like the first one who's and the only one who sings in your family. First of all, thank you. My mother, my mother's mother, who I never met, apparently she could sing. She sang very beautifully. Ukoko. Yes, basically, yeah. And uh, it crossed Duma because the chin didn't get Guma because Duma was Ula, but she'd be so surprised. Mm. She speaks like me, she laughs like me. But, but the, the music is not there. But we be be. But we have the same voice. So it comes from my mother's side. And I think also my dad, because But I never got to meet any of them. But yeah. So what was I it what was it like that. growing up? I mean, you know, if yeah. you, you see like you said, you've never got to meet some of your grandparents, mm. right? But at the same time, you are this young talent. You are earlier in KZN in Chesterville. And uh, boom, you are now dominating, you know, in certain sectors. Basadi Music Awards, you're there with yeah. some of the best. Yeah. And now, from take us through that journey from, you know, young girl in KZN mm -hmm. to where you are now. So I think what really made me love music the way that I did was, first of all, TV and okay. the CDs that my 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 father used to buy. Okay. Um, I remember that the Gwele is in Dozali Rekaya, and I would yeah. always always listen to Lura. Okay. And my parents would always cut my hair because I was so tall, so they didn't want people to think that I was older than um how I how old I actually was. Oh. And they were scared with Sabafana and Goba Mute. Worried about Abafana? So, well, it's gonna be the old guy. So because <laughs> because I saw Lura with that image. Yeah. I also thought that it yeah. was cool and so I went with it at a very young age and I would always listen to the music and mimic it and sing like her. So it was definitely what was around at home mm. and also the music that my father played in the car when we were going to school. I bought woman to woman. Okay. Have yes, you ever been in love? Yes. Oh, no, no. You, you know, I'm, I'm, okay. do it again because <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Na, 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 na. The same thing too. So you're, yeah, tall. you're a Woman. natural man. Can you try? <laughs> and you know, you were talking about like growing up and oh, how yeah. tall you had to cut your hair and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, I, I see you now, you've got this very aesthetic feel too, you know, melon popping. Being dark growing up, I know personally, right? Kids can be mean. Was it like, have you always been this confident, you know, with your melanin and darkness? Or how was it, you know, being dark, <laughs> graying up? I'm pretty sure it wasn't always this cool thing. Great question. Um, when I grew up, because I was tall, I 
people didn't they didn't bully me i don't remember being bullied mm. maybe maybe got the be, maybe got the be kulumangami behind my back but never to your because face because not everyone can like you yeah. of course but True. i don't really remember being bullied i just knew that i wasn't the prettiest girl though what do you because, mean because uh, yes, hold on i knew because why I'm, would you even think that let me tell you why yeah it's because i feel like colorism has been something that i've dealt with my whole life okay like even in the music industry even in my the cover of my album yeah i know that people look at that and they're like oh my gosh she looks so dark when it comes to my aesthetic and i've realized how um and is that I, a problem though Melanin is not a problem. It's how people perceive, perceive it. it. Okay. It's how people have been taught, even without noticing. Yeah. If I was to stand next to a lighter girl that looks just like me, yeah. in your head, you might not even say it. You think that she's prettier. Because even the music that we were listening to, Sibangmane, Kate mm. Guguti, Yellow Pony. Yeah, oh, like okay. having see, a yellow bone girlfriend was was the a thing mm. rather than having a dark skin girl. So that I knew that, and also the hair thing of having curly hair rather than um, long uh, straight hair was a thing. So I always knew, but I wouldn't say that I had problems with it because my mother. My mother would always tell me, you are so beautiful. You can sing. You're going to be something big. Oh, I love you. So um, I never really got... I, it wasn't a big problem for me, but I am aware of how people see dark-skinned people. Yeah. Well, she's gorgeous. That is Anna on K959. 959 Breakfast. Songs called Your Love. We love it. Question now is, of your songs, you know, on your many... How many albums you got? Two now? Uh, one on on the digital platform. Yeah. But one that is about to come out. All right. So yeah. in so the two one. of them. No, it's two. Okay. Now it's two. But then <laughs> the people don't know the second one. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So on your songs, which is your favorite song? Because we like your love. So it's a song that you guys don't know. Um, it's called Utando Luga Mama. Oh. Yes, that's my favorite song in my my new album. In my first album, uh, my favorite song is Utando Lang and Bella. Oh. Yeah. And and your music when you perform, especially from the first album, are, you, are the songs more popular with popular with adults or kids? Hmm. I was very surprised to to see that the people that know my music the most is people who are actually my age. So they're in the middle. Mm. Like people who really know my music word to word when I see them in the front is people who, who are my age. It's university students. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I was I would have expected because you've got a very deep, soulful vibe going. It'll be about whole way, you know, and then and they will say, no, I feel you. I like everyone, <laughs> if, a lot of people know your love, yes. But when it comes to songs like, ask you some sorry, mm. when no born in Dombi, it's definitely people who are my age. This is Kaya 959. We are on the street. We are on the air and everywhere, wherever you are. 959 Breakfast. It is hashtag also 959 Breakfast at... 959 Breakfast on Instagram. So, we're hanging out with Azana. Song is called Lovers and Best Friends featuring DOH. What is DOH? Disciples of House. Okay. Beautiful. They're very good. Uh, there's a song with them in this album as well. It's called Goodbye. So, you're going to uh, hear more of them. Hey, Gagu, is that the first or the second album? Second. Second album, all right. Yeah. Now, this speaks to somebody who leads, and uh, you clearly have strong roots in the... What's the word I'm looking for? You use music to speak symbolically. Mm. Right. So, the, the word ikaku, when, when I was growing up, I was always in choir. Oh. Um, oh! Wherever... Chorista. People, yeah. Oh, nice. So, so mm. because I loved music so much, I, I'd get, like, really irritated when the choir wasn't singing properly. And so I would say, I, mm. And I realized that I love music through mm. that. And ikaku, basically, umuntu so there was this there was this um lady because i always used to take a bus in primary to school there was this lady who was a nurse 
Olu kulu, olu buya. So I loved her confidence. You just I loved break into song without even an <laughs> effort. Pure talent. This is amazing. Pure talent. This is amazing. So I, I loved the fact that she she could sing like that in front of everyone, and I always wanted to do it. It passed me one day, but I always felt like I was too young, and it was weird for a child to sing like that. And I never got to do it. It passed me, but I was like, you know what? Even though I never did it, it passed me because I'm so tired of passing. But basically, if there's a family function, yeah. I will sing first. Okay. Because I love music that much. I love to see a band be, 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 be all together. So as yeah. we listen to this album, we're going to be the passengers in the bus, essentially. Yes. Basically. Ah, yes. beautiful. You yes. know, like this And song? actually, the music sounds like that. Like, it sounds like... Oh, it sounds real. Yeah, it does sound like that. There's a song called Never Be The Same. Sing it banja. I'm so excited to, to have people listen to the music because it sounds like that. They, it sounds like it can be a twenty as the son twenty z the seb suge a clapping. It's like it's it's a mixture of, of who I am and and it's it's like that. So yeah. yeah. And a bus a bus always has different passengers, you know. Mm. So on this album, do we have passengers from the Ama Piano fraternity that you have worked with? I see this song you worked with Disciples of House. Oh, yeah. yes. Um any other well, any piano guys? Well, wow. um, I worked with a very talented vocalist called Musa, and he's upcoming, so not a lot of people know him. I, you're I, 22, you're already launching new artists. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just really love I love his tone, I love his songwriting. I'm mm. very big on songwriting, so I really loved him. He's a kid, he was literally 17 when he sang on Emuva in my album, so I can't wait for you guys to hear him. I know that people who know him know him from his space summer piano, but it's not a large audience. Mm. But I can see that he's going very far, so we have him there. Speaking of going far I mean where do you envision your career you know uh, to be going are there other areas because mm. there was a song we played of yours and I heard you hum production mm. uh, that wasn't on the song mm. perhaps maybe are you going to explore that side of uh, creativity um, in other sides of artistry so uh, basically when when no man gets in I don't mean it wow. I, I love for this album I was g- g- there with every single step with the production. If I didn't like something, then I would like to see it. 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 So I'm interested in that and not only just singing. So Google Music as a whole, yeah. and I'm not just a singer and songwriter. But I'm not only just a singer. I also am going to... Move on to acting okay. and move oh. on to to things that will make sense with my brand. For example, modeling as well. So I, I don't want to just be known as a singer. Uh, but here's the beauty of it: right? up, you've yeah. got you you you've got the package. If I can put it that way, Thank you, you successfully the mere fact that you were able to take your name, right, and then say, "Listen, I want a name that is unique." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've got this brand now. Mm-hmm. So now we now have. Azana Inc. If you want to call it Azana PTY Limited, the business, mm. right? Mm. So you've said acting, mm. uh, you've done the music production, mm. and uh, you, I imagine now we're going to have Azana Music at some point, yeah. Music label, yes. and and then what else can we look at? Uh, as I said, modeling. Yes. And uh, I also want to really dive into fashion. Even if I'm not designing, I want to do something with fashion when it's time. But the next thing that I really want to go on to right now is acting. Act now, have you been taking classes? After, after my. Oh, let me rephrase. Are you an actress? Let me. I'm just jumping and asking about. I classes. don't want to say much. Yeah. But the next thing is that there I'm something doing, happening that the we next need to know thing about. That I'm doing is acting. So there's this. So there's a story. Maybe. Okay. Uh, you know, earlier on, right? I'm going back to the music. Yeah, you the acting. You mm-hmm. told us about your favorite song in your catalog. Mm-hmm. Um, can you just give us a, a quick preview, you know, of, of that song? 
Okay, so uh, 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 Luga Mama. First of all, my my album Mikaku that is coming is a ten track album, and um, the second song in it is Utando Luga Mama, and I I love the song so much is because I feel like a lot of people are gonna really relate to it because Utando Luga Mama is something that Gishonomakchoras will experience. We are facing ati wage, you know, so. It says, Utando Luga Mama, Lona Lupeli Alu Shorty, Futali Funi Luto, Lintwellis in Fula Nakong Zobu, Huya, Kyovoya Kaila Fukona, Etu Zeguako. So it says, Utando Luga Mama Alfuni Luto. I can have nothing if I was to lose everything that I have. I know that umuntenga yake numa, and she won't judge me. Unconditional. Yes, basically, and so that's what utando luga mama mean. It it means to me, and alpeli because I've gotten so much of it, and she she gives so much to me, even if it takes away from her. And yeah, so that's what being a mom is about, isn't it's it? It's so beautiful, and it makes me want to be a mom because okay. I've seen the way that she loves. So it's the most sentimental song in my album for me. Um, and yeah, it came from the heart. Her name is Azana. She's a uh, candidate for Basari Music Award, mm-hmm. uh, Song of the Year. Mm-hmm. And I will wish you the best of luck this coming week. Thank you for starting your morning with us on 959 Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we're looking forward to your new album. All the best with Ikaku. Can't wait to Thank listen you. to that when it drops. Thank you.